Okay, so we're here with Emily Sarsfield at the Snow Centre, British Ski Cross number one female athlete. Hey, Emily, how's the Hello. summer been? Yeah, busy, really yeah. busy. Olympic year, it always kind of picks up a notch. So, um, but a lot of skiing. Yeah, how's your summer differed this year, being an Olympic year? Um, well, I've always been a like, self-funded athlete for the last 11 years. I've kind of like just relied on sponsors and things like that. And um, in the summer, I would always have to work. Um, yeah. Although I kind of like, do my training kind of like before and after work and like converting shipping containers into bars is kind of what I always do but this year actually I was um, with the help of ABC group actually was able to kind of step back from work and I'm actually a full-time athlete which is a dream come true so I'm in the gym or on the mountain and it's unreal. And BSS have just launched the ski snowboard cross program as well this summer as well is that correct? Yeah exactly so that kind of really really helped me because that kind of like went hand in hand so um, we've got this new coach which is looking after both snowboard cross and and ski cross so I've been spending a lot of time with Maisie Potter who's a snowboard cross athlete yeah. um, and we've been training a lot together this summer and um, so yeah we've been it, it's it's awesome I've got a coach as well that's amazing <laughs> and you're getting really good at acro yoga I think as well I've seen on yeah hey you know with a little bit of downtime it's quite nice to do something different so um, we're pretty competitive as athletes so Maisie and I decided we'd uh, take ourselves on a little acro yoga journey so uh, throw us some challenges <laughs> okay, I'm sure we can think of some. Maybe we can get some members to think of some on the social media. Yes. Um, okay, sweet. And your first race is, are you part of the, uh, the ski board, the ski across um, two and a half week manic? schedule in December? We certainly are. Last year they launched this Cross Alps tour which basically was to kind of bring the sport ski cross to your TV screens kind of like pretty much every other day or every few days. Um, so we've got six World Cups, four countries, two and a half weeks. Um, it's intense, it's busy. I remember finishing last year and I was absolutely shattered. I went home for Christmas and I was like I couldn't do anything. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, so that kicks off on the 4th of December in Val Turen. Um, so yeah. Are you excited for the season? Yeah, super excited. But I always, this time of year, I'm always like, oh, winter's coming. You always do get that little bit nervous. Like, have I prepared enough? Have I done this? But um, yeah, it's it's going to be a busy one this yeah. winter. And uh, But exciting, exciting winter. Yeah, great. Well, obviously, the main excitement this winter is going to be that, that Olympic event. Um, not the best history with the Olympics, I'm sure you won't mind me saying, but um, hopeful, hopeful for this year, what are your main kind of goals for it? Yeah, like you say, I've kind of like a SARS field and the Olympics haven't gone hand in hand in the past. Missed out on Vancouver from snapping all four ligaments in my knee. Um, got told I'd never ski again, but I was pretty stubborn at the time. I think that's probably a good thing. Um, and I came back ready to kind of like fight in my place in Sochi and um, take the performance criteria. Unfortunately, a bit of red tape. Fell on the wrong side of the uh, world rankings on the day they were announcing the team. So missed out on that. So. It was, it was always going to be a tough one. I kind of like had some knee surgery and I needed to work out. That killed a lot of the passion for the sport of me. But then I realised that actually this is exactly what I love. And I love being an athlete and I love ski cross. Um, so for the last three years, it's been head down and focused. Luckily last season, I managed to tick those performance boxes again um, before another injury. But I'm back now, I'm fully fit. <laughs> And uh, so it's a matter of kind of keeping that world ranking so I don't drop outside. But right now I'm ranked 18th in the world, so that stands me in a, a good position. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, everything goes right way, and I'll be on that flight to Pyeongchang. Amazing, well, I'm sure it will this season. Best of luck, Emily. Thanks very much. Cheers.